The Section 377 almost made us transgender. But hey, we are gay. The shiny customary breath of yours lingering. On my shaven morbido legs provoking the fingering. The voracious, voluptuous, volcanic parts of a female anatomy never raised my stick. We call it a tabu, call it delito. But kissing a guy did raise my dick. <laughs> That eternal energy, that no shit like a tongue from space, irrespective of gender. That space, full of black holes which eat up every big pole and hole, is there anyone who can come and condole? We hate those guys that come out and judge us. They're like, you're a faggot! And I'm like, that's all you got? No! We've got much more than that! But, but, being gay in, in India? India? We've got the grass in the east, the trident in the west, the blood red in the south, the broomstick at the center, the bombs in the north, and orange squash all over. Achedin Ave, no wonder. But, but, being gay in, in India? How I wish I was Irish. How I wish I could hold his hand and sip a beer can, indulge in intimacy under the temple boss ecstasy. How I wish I was a Canadian farmer. I could plant what I wanted, I could marry whom I wanted. And then my dad wouldn't be very sad and he would come up to me and say, Somebody gonna get hurt here. <laughs> Being gay in India, we love our country, but, but we, we love, love men too. <laughs> Why, Why can't, can't we love them both? both? Why can't we love them both? So Bobby, the homosexual, went to his beloved mother one day to confess that her only son was gay. The poor old lady who longed for nothing but grandchildren didn't know what to say. The son had travelled. Her days were numbered. The sea had hit the bay, but she accepted. And you know what? That's all we care about. I'm gay and I'm proud of it. I, in my movie, I am not the Jim Moriarty. I am the Batman. I am the Superman. I am the hero. I'm gay and I'm proud of it. I am not the cucumber sausage bag graveling for attention in a man's body. I am not the eunuch clapping on the streets, scaring you and begging you for your wasted money. I am not the guy checking out men on dating sites, and even if I do, you will not judge me. I am not the coward who hides his unnatural infatuations. I am not afraid of keeping the gay porn history. If we can choose the port we want to shit on, why can't we choose the penis we, we want, want to, to sit on? <laughs> if we can cook the dish we want to relish, why can't we choose the lips we wish to kiss? And yes, I kiss my mother with these lips. Who do you think taught me to say no? Who do you think taught me to respect the crowd? I am the prefix, searching for a suffix in a limited dictionary. But I still can make good words and never underestimate the seductive power of an effective vocabulary. I am the turncoat. I have a problem with the white clothed men who judge us people with their gargantuan ambiguity. They call our unconditional same-sex love an ideological colonization of the family. But, but, being gay in, in India, but, but, I have never been good at keeping quiet. I have never been good at keeping quiet. <laughs> I will not keep quiet. We want to live. We want to love. But you say we sabotage your civilized society. Ha! Men who can love can never sabotage the society. We know how to use our voices. We know how to roll like a tiger.
tiger in a cage. We do not follow rules. We 